Well, everybody, today is my day off, so I was going to go to Costco, but my brother, since Kaylee took our car, my brother has the other car, so um, not going to be able to go until he comes back. Not really going to do much today, I don't think so. Uh, probably just going to hang around. Oh, all I've got up. I was trying to film her because she was growling and running and everything. She must have been dreaming. Were you dreaming, puppy? You look tired. Kaylee is on her way home, finally. She got off a little bit early today because she went in really early. Um, so, making dinner for her right now, as you can see. Pretty exciting. We're gonna have teriyaki chicken tonight. Um, maybe make some Brussels sprouts and just some steamed rice. But yeah, it's been pretty boring today, which is kind of nice. I didn't really want to do much today. Um, yeah, just been watching some movies on Netflix and uh, hanging out with Olive. Here's the end result. Got some good looking chicken in there. Brussels sprouts, teriyaki sauce, and some rice. And Kaylee's home. I'm home. I don't really feel too good. You know what? This morning was my first morning waking up in a really long time that I felt really nauseous. I was actually kind of scared. I think, I really think it's my body telling me that I'm not getting enough sleep. We're late, we're late nighters. What Olive's getting say? enough sleep, I'll tell you that's for sure. We've been staying up till almost 1 a.m. every single night and then I've had to wake up early to work two days in a row. Yeah. But I'm excited to eat Josh's meal. All right, well let's eat. Okay, so Josh just told me that he didn't tell you guys his inspiration for this meal. So I'm gonna make him tell you, okay? I'm not saying it. Say it. We used to eat at this place called Sarku in San Diego, and so this is like theirs, I would say. This is like their chicken. Josh copied yeah. it. So he made this a few times. He used to make this more often, actually, when we lived in San Diego. But he hasn't made it since we've lived here, I don't think. You want to know what he does with the chicken? That's really gross. He puts it in the KitchenAid mixer, and he mixes it. Like, why, why do you do that? Because it breaks the chicken down a little bit. Um, Did you film that part? Mm -mm. Oh. It breaks down the chicken a little bit, and it. I do it in with the marinades, and then. Just tenderizes right, it. it. Like mixes it good. Yeah, but it looks really nasty when the raw chicken is like being all smushed around in the mixer. <laughs> but it's good. All right, we've decided to make a late night Costco run. They close in like 15 minutes, so we have to rush in, get what we need and get out. I know this is a really gross thought, but how many chickens had to die? <laughs> this is like so many chickens. Look at it, there's a whole ton of chickens just right there. Look at the giant fans in here. <laughs> Those are so huge. Josh, we should come here at eight o'clock at night more often. Coming here at night was nice. There's like nobody here. So you wanna know what I was looking forward to going to Costco? Was getting some dang gelato. And I made sure that we were out of Costco in time for me to get my gelato before they closed. And they didn't have it! I was so mad. Don't tell a pregnant girl that you don't have gelato. Luckily I had some backup ice cream at home. So I am going to eat some ice cream and watch TV. What a day. <laughs> How was your day off? It's very, it was very fast crazy. Eight hours at home and eight hours at work. My day didn't move and his day went by like, fast. It's like at home it's like four hours, at work it's like 30. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my day was so long. I don't know if it was just, I think it felt extra long because I was so tired. I know I felt extra long. Why? Whenever I'm not there you freak out. That's true, when you're not there and I can't go over and talk to you. You always are texting me all day long. I'm so spoiled that I get to see him most of the time. 
I thought it was cute when you filmed Olive sleeping. Well, I saw her going nuts, and then I was like, oh, I gotta get this, but I didn't want to wake her up, and every time I get out of the chair, she gets up, so I slowly had to get out of the chair, and then I had to go get the camera, and then I thought, for sure, if I walked in there, she just knows. I know, I'm surprised she stayed asleep. Then I thought she was awake, then I saw her butt starting to move. I don't know. But then somebody walked by, and then she opened her eyes. Mm -hmm. Were you running in your sleep, puppy? Did you go on an adventure today in your dreams? Like I said, I haven't been getting enough sleep. So it is... 11 o'clock. So. It's 10.45. <laughs> so 10.45 is an improvement from 1 o'clock. We've literally been staying up we till almost 1. We have to take shower at, we have to take all about. Got to stay up for another two hours just because we got to bed a couple, what, like <laughs> one or twelve or more. I will be in bed by eleven thirty. That gives me forty-five minutes to take a shower and take all about. Okay, let's do it. So, okay, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and we will see. You guys. Josh hits my arm every time I'm vlogging. He hits my vlogging arm. Thanks for watching today's video. We will see you guys tomorrow. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Josh comes around the corner from his side and he goes, um, aren't you off? Like, what are you still doing there? And I thought, oh my gosh, I can't even leave now because I haven't done all my closing procedures.